The term hero is used so often we can forget what a hero really is. Then along comes someone to remind us. An Army Ranger who served eight tours in Iraq and Afghanistan is about to be awarded the Medal of Honor, only the second living recipient since Vietnam. David Martin at the Pentagon tells his story. Sergeant Leroy Petrie, a kid who nearly flunked out of high school, became a man who gave his right hand to save his fellow Army Rangers. It happened three years ago, almost to the day, on a raid in Afghanistan. As Petrie stormed into a courtyard, he was hit by a bullet which went through both legs. He and two other rangers took cover behind a chicken coop. A grenade knocked all three to the ground. A second grenade probably would have killed or seriously injured them, but the wounded Petrie grabbed it and threw it back. Just after he released it, the grenade detonated, blowing away his right hand. Still, Petrie had the presence of mind to apply his own tourniquet. Petrie, who has spent most of the last 10 years operating in the secrecy of special operations, did not want to be interviewed. So we will let a Medal of Honor recipient from Vietnam speak for him. I doubt that there's one Medal of Honor recipient who would say that he was doing anything other than his job. And at the time, didn't say, oh, this is dangerous. It was just doing what was required. The Medal of Honor puts it a little differently. For conspicuous bravery above and beyond the call of duty. David Martin, CBS News, the Pentagon.